Hello, welcome to number three of this C debugging leap year. Okay, the program converts a date to the day of, of year and determine how many days are left in the year, taking the leap year into consideration. This is the program. Okay, this is the program and take a look at the program. This is the program. Okay. Now this is the header file. Okay. Remember this function. This is remember this function. We use it now. They are, they are using switch case here. A switch. Okay. This, this switch case you said is looking good, but they need it to they need to be better. Okay. Now we we'll need this one also in our header. We we'll need it also in our header file. Okay. So now the question is output the output looks good for the 1997 let's make it let's make a new line file for this um this main this another this is another main file to test for this uh to test for the for the next case okay now what they want us to do now is to create another uh another uh leap here another code that will make it wrong so they now they're telling us that to fix this print remaining days that is not looking right, so we will need what to to make sure that the dates and the year align correctly. So they are not using line count in this question. Okay, so they are going to we are going to assume that all the test cases have a valid month, right? And uh, and as a valid month, I will never be lesser than one or greater than twelve. Okay, and Valid days also it's including with the valid days. The valid days will never be greater than lesser than one or greater than thirty first. Okay. Now we are going to assume they are assuming that all test cases have valid month and day combination. Okay. That is, there will never be a June thirty first or November thirty first. Remember, November is not thirty thirty five thirty one days. It's going to be thirty days, right, respectively. So, but all monthly, but all, but not all month, day and year combination are valid, right? They're not all valid. Let me post my network is bad now. So, that is that. So, they say, but not all monthly, okay, no, but not all month, days and year combination are valid. That is February 29, 1991, and February 29, 1924, 2014, and 247, and 27. Okay, now let's first of all let's copy this. This is the file name that we are going to use. Remember, we have already created our main.h. So let's just go back. Let's Clear our let's clear. Okay. What's going on? Network. Let's clear. Our network is bad. Let's quickly. Let's refresh them. The network is bad. Let's refresh. Okay, just one minute, please. L S L C D O G. Okay. Yeah. Now let's check for our main dot five uh, main dot h header file first. Okay, this is our main dot header file. Remember, this is the two header file that we included. Okay, for this number three question. Okay, you can see the first one convert day int month int day right now the print remaining days i see the remaining days int month day and year okay so that's where that's what we have on the header okay now let's go and create the the main file that we need okay now so you we are going to use we in this file we are going to use the main we are going to Sorry, 
I have to press insert mode first. We are going to use the include standard header. Okay, we are going to use the include standard input output dot head. Okay, then we are going to use include, uh, include sorry, we are going to use include include main main dot head okay so then we'll now type the comment out okay so we are done typing so you can see this is the the comment section okay now this is the function we're using if else statement okay so now you read the just go through the the information now if this year is are you seeing it is equals to zero okay and 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 year module 400 is equals to zero okay so you you, you we will just write them out like this and if then we continue again just go through the code so you can see the, the 365 days okay so look at the look at the information here day minus 30 days that's one day okay so then when you go through, make sure you copy it very well. There will be no syntax error. Copy it very well so that you don't have syntax error. So thank you very much. I don't want this video to be long. Thank you very much. And let's see this. And now the next thing I'm going to do is to add it on to git. Then commit. Then and um, 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 let's go and check if the answer is correct. Voila, you can see they are all correct. Please subscribe, like, and follow. Thank you very much.